Heart failure is a chronic and progressive condition where the heart's ability to pump blood is compromised, leading to symptoms such as fatigue, shortness of breath, edema, and lung congestion. It can range from those who are at risk but asymptomatic to clients with end-stage heart failure requiring hospice care. Clients with uncontrolled hypertension, coronary artery disease, valve disorders, cardiomyopathy, or a history of myocardial infarction are at risk for developing heart failure. Hypertension increases the heart's workload, leading to ventricular wall thickening and reduced effectiveness. Coronary artery disease and myocardial infarction can weaken the heart muscle due to reduced flow of oxygenated blood. Valve disorders and cardiomyopathy impair the heart's pumping ability. Additional risk factors include smoking, obesity, aging, family history of cardiac disease, substance misuse, and certain ethnicities, with non-Hispanic Black individuals having the highest death rate. Heart failure can be primarily left-sided or right-sided with each having distinct symptoms. Left-sided heart failure primarily affects the left ventricle and causes symptoms resulting from lung congestion, such as crackles and dyspnea. Right-sided heart failure is often a consequence of left-sided heart failure or chronic lung disease and causes systemic symptoms of fluid retention such as edema, jugular vein distension, hepatomegaly, and ascites. Common diagnostic tests for heart failure include BNP blood test, chest x-ray, and echocardiogram to assess heart function and structure. Patients diagnosed with heart failure are classified according to the New York Heart Association Functional Classification, ranging from class 1 with no limitation of physical activity to class 4 with symptoms at rest. This classification, established and documented by the healthcare provider, helps nurses understand a client's baseline status and assess for signs of worsening heart failure that require urgent medical treatment. Acute decompensated heart failure refers to rapidly worsening heart failure symptoms, often requiring hospitalization. It is crucial for nurses to recognize signs of worsening heart failure and initiate timely interventions to avoid complications. Complications of heart failure can include life-threatening pulmonary edema, acute kidney failure, and liver failure. Heart failure is treated with medications and lifestyle modifications. Prescribed medications may include diuretics, ACE inhibitors, ARBs, beta blockers, aldosterone antagonists, and inotropes. In severe cases, fluid restrictions may be prescribed to prevent pulmonary edema. For clients with severe heart failure, surgical interventions like valve surgery, left ventricular assist devices, and heart transplantation may be performed. Nursing care focuses on teaching clients about prescribed medications and lifestyle modifications to prevent acute exacerbations. Lifestyle lifestyle modifications include following a heart-healthy diet with sodium restrictions, participating in regular physical activity as tolerated, and maintaining a healthy weight. If the client smokes, they should stop smoking, and if they drink alcohol, they should do so in moderation or abstain. Nurses also closely monitor inpatients' daily weights and 24-hour fluid intake output trends for signs of fluid retention. Concerns about worsening fluid retention are promptly reported to the healthcare provider to prevent pulmonary edema and respiratory distress. Nurses play a pivotal role in helping clients manage this chronic condition at home and prevent unnecessary hospital admissions. Health teaching is provided on the purpose and side effects of prescribed medications as well as lifestyle modifications. Clients are strongly encouraged to monitor and record their daily weights and to promptly call their healthcare provider if they gain more than two pounds in one day or five pounds in a week. They are also taught strategies for managing edema, such as keeping their legs elevated while sitting and applying compression stockings. Psychosocial support is crucial for helping clients and their family members cope with the chronic nature of this disease and maintain optimal quality of life. When evaluating the effectiveness of interventions, Nurses assess the client's understanding of prescribed medications and self-management strategies. They evaluate the effectiveness of prescribed medications and monitor for side effects, while also monitoring for signs of complications. Nurses encourage clients and their family members to promptly notify the healthcare provider of worsening symptoms for rapid treatment and avoidance of unnecessary hospitalizations. In this manner, nurses empower clients to effectively manage this progressive, chronic condition.